Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. All of you? Yes. Yes. Okay, so step three, what you'll do? So guys, when you go to the AWS, I told you 5,000 services are there. Don't try to learn everything. Okay, so in this session, I'll teach you the foundation services. Okay, so now we'll say what is the final foundation services. So I'll simply, I'll just Google it. Foundation services and, and go to the image. And now you see that whatever that you see here, this is called foundation services. That means without these services, you cannot use AWS at all. These are the foundation services. So here you have a compute foundation services. We call it EC2. EC2, what is the EC2? Simple way is a VM, virtual machines. You know, all of you know the virtual machines, right? Which you have can create in the laptop also, which you can create in the uh, in your office laptop, office hardware also, using the hypervisor like a VMware or virtual box. So same way in on AWS, we call it EC2. EC2 means elastic cloud compute. Means you get a compute, but at a cloud, which can be elastic. Make sense, all of you? All of you? Yes. yes. Now network. Yes. You want network, you want storage, you want security. And some of the application platform the service or software service. So this is called foundation services. Without this only, you you go for AWS because of these regions only. Apart from that, as I just said, a lot of applications are there. For satellites, you have hardware learning, artificial intelligence, you have data warehousing, you have so many application services are there. But these are the foundation services. So when you focus, you should focus on the foundation services. See here. So below one, whatever that you see is a foundation services. So I'll teach you EC2. I'll teach you uh, uh, this S3. I'll teach you uh, some RDS. I'll teach you VPC and all everything. Okay. On top of that, you see the application services, application services like a platform, this service and deployment and management services also you can consume. So a lot of services we have on AWS. So what we go, go and do that. So first I'll teach you step number one, three, compute. And then step number four, I will do storage, which is today. Compute means how do we get a CPU or RAM, virtual machines, storage, how do we store our data at AWS, networking and other services we'll talk about in the next sessions. So I think this will be sufficient for two hours. So what to do? So guys, I have an account actually on AWS is there from last 15 years. So I'll just go to use that account. So sign in to the console. And here, log in. Here. Now this is your dashboard after the login. So now you will say Rajesh, which region you are in. So here I can be in any regions from this console only. I can go and any region. Mumbai region I have selected right now, which I am in. That means any resources which I'll create, I'll create in Mumbai region. But you want to create in different region, you can create in different region. Remember that pricing is different by the way. So let's say if you go to the Iceland, Ireland and all, the pricing will be a little uh, lesser. Mumbai region is, a, is one of the costless region by the way, you know, AWS. Why? Because the resources are costly in Mumbai. Now you'll say what resources? So it's not only salary, actually we define the cost for data center, uh, land cost, electricity cost, Permission cost, license cost, many other costs are also there. AC cost, electricity cost. You have to pull down your data center. Water cost. 
for running a data center, you need a lots of water. So depends on the virus. So these are the factors for deciding the data centers. Are you understanding all of them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm using most of the time Mumbai region. Why? Because it's close to my region. Uh, and uh, see which region you should run your application depends on where you where is your consumer. It's not like you are working from India and your consumers is from USA and then you are running the application in India. No, you should run there. You should go for the US East, West you see on top. So the server should be close to the end user. So you decide where is your end user. Sometime application has to be created at the distributed level region point. That means it's running in Mumbai also, US also and Africa also. It depends. Okay. So you can that's called design skills architect skills okay so that is also important think simple always don't complicate your thinking saying that okay this topic is very hard this topic is uh, very complicated no everything is small just put the right context into it okay anyways so this is my region okay and now here if i see click on the services left side you see all the services these are the not services actually i said 5000 services then you say hardly i see 30 services these are not services these are the categories actually so you want to work with the blockchain you want to work with the compute you want to work with the databases you want to work with the developer tools you want to work with iot you want to work with the ma machine learnings you want to work with the satellites robotics quantum networking migration media security storage everything you have here so that means what you are for each and everything you have a services here everything so what do we want right now? So we want to go for the compute. Click on the compute. And the moment you click on the compute, this is the categories of the services. And these are the subcategories actually. See, so it's not a services again. These are the subcategories. Compute is a subcategories. And here you have so many things. Don't get lost. Again, I'm saying focus on only things which you want. I came to AWS for virtual machine, simple. In virtual machine, what do we call it in a, in a, in a AWS? We call it what? Tell me. EC2. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'll have a little patience. I'll not rush. Okay. So I'll read this. EC2 means what? Virtual server in the cloud. Very simple. Batch means what? Builder means what? Lambda means what? I'll read it. I understand that virtual server. I don't understand EC2. I understand virtual server in the cloud. I click on it. You can make it fab and lots of UI, uh, small, small things you can do that. This is the EC2. Now, in EC2 itself, because it's a subcategory, this you see that hell lot of services are there. Left side. See that? Hell lot of it. So gradually you have to learn. Don't rush. My focus is very simple. Compute. I want one virtual server of linux and i want to log in and work on it i want one window uh, virtual servers of uh, windows and i want to log in and work on it that's all my objective is because you can create a virtual server in laptop so you can create a virtual service on a cloud that's all so here you are paying here you are not paying then you will say rajesh why we are learning the aws when we are paying you are learning AWS because not because you want to use consume uh, this uh, virtual servers. Your organization they want thousands of servers, virtual servers, where they want to run applications. They don't want to manage the data center, so they what they did, what they do, they ask AWS, hey AWS, give me thousands of virtual machines. So you need to know also AWS because your company are running on application running on uh, AWS or Azure or Google Cloud or something like that. So you need to know this platform, you need to log in, you need to see, you need to create your because your company means you, right? You are a software engineer. So what to do? So right now, if I see that I have a two instance running of the virtual machines, which is I let it be running. OK, and now I'm going to create it. So here I click on the launch instance. And now, guys, this is the this is the new UI. OK, this is the new UI. Again, you can use this UI. Okay, you can decide the name and tags. Here you can define the OS image, and here you can define the type. Here you can decide the key pair. 
and here you can decide the networking and many other stuff but you know what i feel the old ui is a better in terms of explanations okay so you can use this one also there's no problem but go for old ui and it will be easy for me to explain it okay so see what exactly you will have to create you'll have to follow some widgets in order to create a bm this is very simple but it looks very complicated so here once you get a habit everything will become very smooth habit is important because every day day and night you will work on here only so you will not bother too much so now here what do we have so this is step number 1 step number 2 step number 3 step number 4 step number 5 step number 6 step number 7 so here choose an ami ami means what so guys when you create a when you create a virtual machines don't you use the iso image all of you yes yes ha ah, so we, here we call it the image here we call it a machine image amazon machine image so here you have to select whether you want to one two fedora debian windows what am i you want it then here you are selecting the cpu and ram how much cpu and ram you are wanting here you are configuring the network and many other details here you are attaching the storage how much storage you want for that vm here you are tagging it labeling it extra if you need it and here you are creating a security group means network firewall i repeat there's a two kind of firewall firewall there's a two kind of i mean there are many kind of firewall i am not complicating too much uh, we daily basis we use the two kind of firewall what firewall one is like a, my server firewall my operating system firewall uh, let's uh, this is my operating system firewall see here, firewall but there is one network firewall so network firewall is at the network level operating system firewall as operating system level then you will say then what is a security group in aws security group is nothing but a network firewall will you remember all the time not a os firewall will you remember that yes is a network firewall so operating system firewall you can be dis, uh, disable enable whatever exactly all this thing. so now this is the things you have to do that so let me do that in reality so what operating system i want so here i decided one linux right so i'll go for the centos ubuntu whatever you want so here you are, have all this thing uh, by the way there is a quick start mi my mi marketplace mi community mi all these thing mi you can get it so quick start mi i am just going for it one of the mi which i'll go for ubuntu server or red hat or windows hello lot of you have right so go for one of linux one i'll go for it ubuntu linux and here you decide second step you see here defined cpu and ram so this is a free under the t2 macro only for one year for me nothing is free because it's old account but if you are trying under the free trial you have to look for this free trial eligible that means free if not then not free simple and go for this here configure the instance decide how many instances you want one or 1000 this instance it can be you can say 1000 also okay but don't do a mistake you'll have to pay for it so one these are the some of the network settings okay question please hello question please i yeah, please. one um yeah. how many uh, instances are attached to the free tier that one can set up for a free tier okay. yeah for that i will i can give you the straight forward answer uh, but you should always check this place uh where is that let us see aws free tier and you should come have little patience read it else you repent later so here 12 months free and you see the ec2 compute tell me how many hours free 750 hours 750 hours yeah and it's a per month by the way that means you run 20 instances or one instance but it should be total 750 hours 
like that you will ask this page and get all the other data also okay and also type is here you see in small type is also written so mind it is not everything is free only specific types are free okay so how many instances you want one network setups and all this i am ignoring it as it as if default and like it's if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact@devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching